Hey people, Intrat here, 3v3, Faction War, this is Quest Redemption and Space Marines vs Imperial Guard. The Space Marine team, Pilgrim is an apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default, begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura alongside Crazy Chairman 96 as a tech marine. Starts off with a ranged weapon, bolt gun, puts us to good damage, can also support with structures and repair, rounding off the team. Racer is a force commander, very strong offense fighting in melee, can also tank, disrupt and support Imperial Fists. For the guard, we have Gaz with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins with a refractor shield. Alongside, Isk North End with a Lord General fighting in ranged combat begins with a retinue of Stormtroopers, really strong defense and support can also add to the retinue. Death Corps of Krieg DLC here. And rounding off the teams, is Captain Evangelos with an Inquisitor. Offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get specialized ranged weapons. There's a hammer of the witches on the on the scout's face. Doesn't kill him, but he's gonna be vulnerable now to Lasgon fire. No sentinels up. Triple guardsman for Gaz, triple guardsman for Isk North End. Can you say assault marines? Tech Marine being tied up in melee by the Lord the General. Both of his retinue fellas have died. Nigel and Derek down. Tactical Marines coming in into melee with the Guardsmen where they will easily win the fight. But there's more Guardsmen to shoot at stuff. Lord General gets the Tech Marine packing thanks to a bunch of Laz guns helping out. Reinforcing those retinue models of course in the field. Able to separate and now turn and shoot those tacks and deal with them quite well. All because of the Lord General's prowess in melee. Able to tie things up and bleed models effectively. In the north, contested victory point. Lots of Lasgun shooty shooty. Apothecary might go down if the ghost guys plant their feet and shoot. There we go. Attacks are not in cover here. Mistake from Pilgrim. They're being shot up out of cover by triple guardsmen. They're going to drop models soon. Backing off to the sandbags, which are heavy cover. There we go. Already took a bunch of damage though. I mean, Devastators or Assault Marines will do huge amounts of work versus Triple Guardsmen. Inquisitor goes down in the south. We might see Isk North End pick her up. Going for grenade launchers. They do good damage to tactical Marines, these things. And they give you move, 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 where you can dodge. Move faster and maybe dodge Assault Marine jumps and that kind of thing. Or at least get away from them. They are going to get the revive. They got no XP since Crazy Chairman didn't actually drop a model. Racer goes for Devastators, so does Crazy Chairman. No Assault Marines yet. They might go 1 1 1 though, with Devastators and Assault Marines. Which would be really bad without Catachins and stuff. Grenade Launchers having trouble shooting up the stairs here. Never seen that before. Yeah, some of the stairs are deceptively tall in this game. As you can see, those stairs are pretty damn steep. The sword, of victory shall be drawn. the sword of Victory is a Sanguine Chainsword, apparently. Armor of Purity up, Purification Vials up, another great tool to have against Mass Guardsmen. But it means they're not getting another unit up. They're relying on Apothecary War Gear to carry them through these fights now. Because they're fighting a Lord Commissar, let's remember. And he's got a Power Sword already can run in, tie up those tacks and mess them up quite badly. There's no shotgun to stop him. And he's got Aura of Discipline to buff and heal up rather his guardsmen there. Carapace Armor as well. Gives him some buffs when he uses Inspire Courage. Flamer Guardsman sending some scouts back and they do have their sergeant. And they did steal that VP so that's good play from Razor. Ultra Laser Turret facing us strange direction. Goes down. Hammer of the Witches attempted but he got too far away. Holy Brazer is up for the Inquisitor. A power melee weapon. Master crafted Bolter for the Tech Marine. Flame attacks. Deb's in the mid. It means they can't really push against this very well. And they're just going tier 2. Isk North End does not want to get Catachins up. They're just going to get a Chimera up I suppose. Or maybe sneaky Stormtroopers to run in and grenade it. Or maybe both. Assault squad on the way for Pilgrim. But I think they should have got them got them up before these apothecary war gears 
as you can see they did not want to push against the guard they've gone around though they've done the right thing if you can't push don't push go somewhere else pressure your opponent somewhere else here comes a flank though from Gaz triple guardsman and a lord commissar running in with lead by example are they close enough to get buffed looks like they are there's a nasty grenade though Gaz not noticing it ouch and lots of domino knockback holy crap how many did that kill like 10 guardsmen what a grenade fellas Apothecary goes down that's a little bit sloppy there from pilgrim beautiful grenade though from crazy chairman oh my god three knockback well lead by example is up that's gonna knock you down tech marine levels to two Packs have dropped to model here, but they're okay. 457 to 390. Assault squad also up for racer. They did go 111, which can be an incredibly powerful build used well. Tacks into devs into assault squad. Got a sergeant as well, flamer. I saw the chain sword and storm shield there. A little bit more melee damage, but he gets more health and a passive 20% damage resistance to ranged fire, which is a big deal. And that's before he uses the actual defend ability. Gonna see a jump here, there it is. These guards will already have their commissars going on. Up to 12 models, I imagine we're gonna see a mass of plasma guns supported by the Chimera. Already got plasma guns over here for Captain Evangelos. And they do have catechins as well. Looks like one of those Cadian schemes. Attacks got messed up there. In fact, if the Lord Commissar stayed on them, he might have finished off that last model there. Maybe not. Would probably have needed at least two hits. Chimera just running up, well, rather driving up to the Heavy Bolter Devastators. Heavy Bolter can't do much to a vehicle. Just get behind it and shoot it. Trying to steal this power in the middle. It's going to north. Tacks down to a single model with the Flamer. Double Scouts. Just uh, get closer. Go around it. Pilgrim runs his scouts off. The, the turret does go down. The turret can't shoot stuff in melee range, so just run up to it in melee it or run behind it, maybe. Crack and bolts on the gen. Tax in a bad spot for Crazy Chairman. Trying to bash power, I guess. Okay, they got away. They got away. What are these scouts up to? Just providing some vision, maybe. 408 to 390. Chimera is facilitating a power bash here with a bunch of plasma guns I think. Isk North End's got two lots of plasma guns and that's some dead oh they had a last cannon those devs as well that's crazy chairman's devs down with a last cannon. Holy crap he survived. Oh this guy is talking about I think. The devs certainly didn't. These guys can get a uh, melter bomb to help with this. Looks like we're going to get a Dreadnought, or we might get a Multi-Melter Dreadnought to chase the Chimera down. That'll be fun. Although maybe not the most efficient way to kill Guardsmen with a Multi-Melter. Sort Squad barely get away. If he had a bit more patience there, Captain Evangelos could have used the Ham of the Witches on that last Assault Squad fella and killed him. Not much they can do against this Chimera unless you guys are getting a Missile Launcher. Nope. He's not getting a Melter gone or orbs either. Dreadnought is up though. Momentarily. Captain Evangelos down to a single squad of guardsmen. So they lost their catechins along the way also. See a bunch of dead stuff in the south there. That's my gun guardsman looks like. Manticore's a risk when you have very little very little field presence like like this to get a Manticore up is a big risk. Here's the Dreadnought. Starts off as a close combat walker, but can it get close enough? to crunch on that Chimera. Not right now it can't. It knows it's relatively safe because Guardsmen can't do anything to vehicles. They can't get an anti-vehicle upgrade. Understood. Neither can the Chimera. But they're happy to just drive around and bash power and shoot stuff right now. But the carry heals himself then gets wrecked. 369 to 388. Tier 2 for Pilgrim. Crazy Chairman's gonna res. Oh, we got a Salt Cannon. Holy crap mulched up those guardsmen there. Did that wipe them? No, I think they all barely survived. That was crazy. That was like 20 dead guardsmen, I think. 
Bloody hell. Lord Commissar level 2 getting stuck in. Dreadnought goes into melee mode. Still retains very respectable melee damage. I think it's like 73 DPS. Loses the splash. But who needs it? It's a dead Commissar right there, and it's a single entity. Lots of reinforcing for Isk North End to do. Luckily for them, it's cheap and quick with Guardsmen. We can reinforce three at a time when you have their Sergeant and their Commissar, which I believe he did on all these squads. Tier 3 for Gaz. This Dreadnought is not going to like a Lehman Russ with a Vanquisher cannon on it, that's for sure. What do we got over here? A bunch of dead Guardsmen. We have a Sacred Standard Force Commander, Tier 3 also for Isk North End. Does not have the whoops. Does not have the red to drop a Lehman Russ quite yet. Not that far off it though. Chimera is back with guardsmen inside. They can of course reinforce off the Chimera once they get out of it. Stone guard for pilgrim. Stone guard for racer. Pilgrim might just go straight to tier three now. Racer too. Okay, we do have a missile launcher. I was going to say, where are the anti-vehicle weapons, fellas? We got a last cannon as well. And a melter bomb here on these fellas. There's going to be some threats. Well, it looks like the Manticore has fired on something. Oh, probably on the stern guard here. Holy Brazier. Almost taken out that force commander. Have the mandate. And we have interrogator's armor for silently. Infiltrates the unit, which is fun. 331 to 361. Single cap for blue. Can they finish off? What did they do? They shot at the chimera and ran away, but it is going to go down to the melter bomb. Down it goes. But there's like nine plasma guns that just got out. Three per squad. And they crunched those assault squad pretty well. Almost melted them to death. Lord Kumasar's level three. Eating a salt cannon to the side of the head. Just trying to cap. Throwing up the shield when he can. Oh, Dreadnought's given up, has he? No, he's alright. Oh, he wants to barrage him. Had to create some space because there's a minimum range on the barrage. To get the disruption there. Back on the cap, though. Inquisitor levels to three. Can't do much with a Brazier against a Dreadnought. But a Dreadnought doesn't want to be caught out. Doesn't know what else is around. Could be some... Assault squad fellas with anti armor kits and stuff, so he backs off it. 317 to 355, north turns red. Lost their natural though. Oh, they got a turret on it. That's that's kind of good. The scouts are going to think again, again. Think again before they try to decap, maybe. These guys already got their eyes on it though, I think, again. From Racer. We have a Lehman Russ. And. It might have been called in, because he doesn't have as much red anymore. 317 to 355. Big firefight here. There's a lot of plasma guns. There's a barrage. Basilisk Flare goes in. Good time to use it from the Lord Commissar. From his global bar, debuffing the range. Lord Commissar gets stuck into the back lines too. Hell Fury dropped in by the Inquisitor. Force Commander does not make it out, but now they get a 40% buff from the Sacred Standard when he's downed like that. If they can get close enough to him, of course. Look at this push from the guard. Combined arms with tons of infantry behind a tank. It's the guard way <laughs> and a cannon to the face of that tech marine. Not sure why he was getting so close. Maybe he has orbs. Lord General might fall here. Does fall. So much damage they can turn on a target. Both these, both these teams here. Manticore doing some good work, you know. Almost took out those stern guard. So can a barrage actually did good damage to that Lehman Russ. There was a missile launcher shot as well. And another one and a last cannon. And then the last missile launcher you saw there to finish it off. Both the carry, level 3. So initially a really fun push. But they lost the Lehman Russ there. Here comes a Bane Blade for Gaz. But the carry falls over. Because of lead by example. Lord Commissar trying to get a revive. There we go. Lost the health for him. Oh, no, he's down. He's got no health. 
Lord General Run start to reinforce his, uh, Derek and Nigel as well. Pain Bading coming says Gaz. Looks like they had Lehman Russ at some point. On the way. And they revive these fellas. Crazy Chairman. Where's the apothecary down? Basically in the same place. Assault Squad. I don't think they want to take this fight. It's a Power Melee Inquisitor and, and many, many plasma guns. Mandates up. There's Hammer of the Witches as well. They're going to die. I think Razor's completely forgot about them. Down they go. Big, big loss for Razor. What were they looking at? I'm not sure. Maybe they were thinking about what they want to get next and took their mind off things. They got tons of red. Could drop in some Terminators. Maybe Assault Terminators to go after this Bane Blade. Although Assault Terminators are going to get potentially shredded by a plasma gun as they need Librarian support most likely. Crazy Chairman. Gets the revive but goes down. Got both of those heroes up. We have a Stormblade on the way for Evangelos. Predator tank for Pilgrim. Maybe with Laz cannons on it to fight these large vehicles. And there's that Bane Blade. Bristling with guns. Demolisher. Seems to go way longer than the indication there. Assault Squad jumping in. It's a good jump. Barrage is decent. Sends a bunch of them packing. And there's an orbital. Which is not super smartly used by someone there. There's no way the Bane Blade is just going to sit there and take all those hits. So it's kind of wasted. I mean, it hit these guys. But yeah, it didn't do a whole lot. 258, 337. Two to one cap for red. Guardsman stealing northern power. What is this? Oh, it's those sneaky scouts from Racer. Grenade and run, maybe? Nope, just run. And here comes a Storm Lord. They're getting all of the super heavy tanks going, these guardsmen. Can they stop all three of them? We do have some Terminators from Crazy Chairman. They could get Cyclone Missile Launcher, maybe, to help against these big vehicles. And Pilgrim's tank. Just extra armor at the moment. Does not have the last cannon. This uh, Dreadnought's kind of low to be running up. But he's getting repaired though. Has the Dark Age of Technology too. 1752 hit points. Level 3. Here comes the Lord Commissar with the Fist of Ruckus. Nice tool to have with all those guardsmen around. Demolisher cannon shot. Levels up to 5 and runs away. I think he's going to be alright. Bunch of guards in the north. Manticore strike. Oh, good hit there. The others weren't too hot, though. There's the Stormblade. With the massive plasma blast gun, I believe it's called. With a big old boom. Can't actually turn that turret because it's so big. To turn the entire vehicle. And the Storm Lord will hit the field momentarily from Isk North End. Awesome. Guardsmen perhaps wasting their shots on the Dreadnought there. Should be shooting at these Terminators. And there's Mark Target on the Lord General. Now they're shooting the Terminators. Look at the amount of plasma guns. Look at the amount of stuff to barrage as well. Nasty. They can reinforce off the Stormlord once it hits the field. It's got that troop bay in the back because it doesn't need massive capacitors for a big old gun. I mean, it's got a Vulcan Mega Bolter, which is a big old gun, but it's not plasma -y with LAS cannons and things. What else has it got? The LAS cannons. Does it still have the heavy bolters as well? Yeah, I can see it. Awesome models we got for those things. Whoever was responsible, well done. Not sure if it was Enlarging Cloud or Garrick or something. It was someone. Someone doing cool things. Lots of repairs going on here. Blessing of the Omnissiah, I think, is up from Crazy Chairman. There's a bunker. Might be a repair bunker. 
Yes, it is. You can see it repairing that Stormlord and another repair bunker here. Can they beat this line of super heavy tanks? Here comes some Kasakin from Evangelos. Got some Vanguard veterans. Don't have their power fist upgrade though. They might want to get it. Big old plasma blast gun shot there. Yeah, that Vulcan Mega Bolt is like a 100 DPS Inferno, isn't it? Or did they tone it down? They might have toned it down. Still gonna just melt things though. Will Kumasar get stuck in? Decent Manticore shots. Those Manticore shots have been pretty great actually. And Al Gaz has got a Manticore as well. Down goes the tank. The Predator tank, that is. Rocket run. Decent hits. They're really keeping the Space Marines back. Look at that firepower. He's got more bolt guns sticking out the front there. Land Raider Redeemer on the way for Racer. Is that going to be enough? They need many, many, many anti-vehicle stuff. And not tanks of their own. They need LAS cannons and missile launch attacks and stuff. I mean, they've got the Stern Guard. They can use Vengeance. There's a jump. These guys really need their Power Fist, I think. But he might be saving up for something, Pilgrim. Lots of Terminators with Cyclone missile launchers would be great as well. 150 to 299. What else would be great is Assault Terminators. Racer needs more red for that though. Melter Gun Kasakin, 144 to 299, 2 to 1 for red. Can the guard hold on? Here comes a Lehman Rust for Isk North End. And where's the orbs from Crazy Chairman? They do have them, okay. Orbs of the Omnissiah up. Don't have a Melter Gun though. Might be handy. We do have a Power Fist Force Commander. Going to try and get Flesh Over Steel. There it is. Can they follow it up though? They've gone down. Last Cannon's getting shots. Needs to use for the Emperor. I don't see for the Emperor. Hell Fury dropped in. They couldn't stick around. There's an Orbital. Forces the Bane Blade forward. But those Vanguard Veterans just aren't doing much with those power weapons. Last Cannon Pred here. Getting some decent shots in. There's another Manticore though. Just as they gain some kind of momentum, some kind of footing. A bunch of Manticore strikes coming in. Vanguard Veterans wiped. Ouch. It's a bunch of buffed up Guardsmen. Thanks to the Melter Guns of the Lord General. 134 to 299. Yeah, it might be time to abandon the middle. Just go for both of the natural victory points. Looks like these Terminators have just got the same idea for Crazy Chairman. And you do have a Cyclone Missile Launcher. What the heck did you just throw, Kasukin? Did they just throw... Melter Bombs or... Crack Grenades at the Terminators? The enemy is a key huh. structure. One, two, three. To two, nine, nine. To Force Commander's down. Tech Marine busy repairing. They're not resting on their laurels either, they're pushing the Guardsmen. Couldn't quite get a decap there. Lehman Russ is unupgraded, another Manticore for Gaz. They've done well so far, why not? Devastators of Pilgrim, maybe which just wants the last cannon up. Might be worth getting combat stims actually. They're trying to focus down the Lord General to get that buff out of there. And they get him, they got him. And now what? Where's the vials? Oh, it doesn't have vials anymore. It's got improved medical equipment. Vials might be great here to clear these guys out. Should have switched to it, I think. It might have forced those guys to retreat. I mean, they could have just broken the retreat with the Commissars, but... It might have helped. Manticore strikes in the mid. Lehman Rust strikes as well. Bane Blade charges forward. Lost half its hit points. Down goes that Predator tank. 90 to 299. I think the Guard have done enough. Just couldn't quite get swinging in tier 3. And his three super heavy tanks came out just the right time. 
and uh, it's hard. It's hard to put it together to stop them when you've got manticores raining down on you and things. Level 5 tech marine. I haven't seen him throw his orbs of the Omnisai yet. I'm sure they have already. They've got some good anti-vehicle stuff. There's not enough of it, I think. And the force corner's down so he can't do his power fisting. And they keep getting predator tanks, which is a bad idea, I think. Because they have red now. I think assault terminators with librarian support would have been good. Got the carry trying to get in there. What's this purple thing on him? Oh, it's the it's the psyker. Doing psyker things. He killed him as well. Awesome. Was that strip soul? Might have been strip soul there. Bunch of guards and run. But they could break the retreat and then reinforce off the Storm Lord, I think. Doesn't seem like they're doing it though. 25 to 299, double cap for the guard. I mean look at this armor. There's a GG. Manticore scares those guys off. No chance for these fellas to cap. Didn't even get away. There's a triple now. And there is the game. The guard come out swinging in tier 3 with these super heavy tanks. And uh, they just couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with it. Apothecary down at the end, level 4. Level 6 Tech Marine. A level 3 Force Commander. They were sloppy now and then, the Space Marines before that as well. Losing some stuff here and there. Whose Psycho was it? Gaz's? Yeah. Level 6 Lord Commissar. Level 5 Lord General down there. And a level 5 Inquisitor. I did have Purgatus at the end. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players for taking part in a faction war. I believe Crazy Chairman putting this game together and sending it in, so thanks to them. And I'll see you guys next time.